हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बोर्डी कर चेतन फ्रॉम एन बी मेहता वलवाड़ा साइंस कॉलेज बोर्डी दिस इज क्लास टू ऑफ केमिकल काइनेटिक्स फॉर क्लास वन यू कैन चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स लिंक इज अवेलेबल ओवर द students as we have studied earlier in our lower classes about equation of lines they are either y equals to mx which represents a line passing through origin and having slope m and another is y equals to mx plus c which represents a line having intercept c on y axis but this line can be with positive slope or with negative slope today we'll study about the kinetic characteristics of first order reaction it includes three parts unit of rate constant half life and graphical representation unit of rate constant for first order reaction so first i'll write integrated rate equation for first order reaction that is k equals to 2.303 upon t log of a upon a minus x what is a a is initial concentration of reactant and what is a minus x it is concentration of reactant after time t both are concentration of reactant so their unit will be in terms of moles per dm cube this is also concentration so its unit is moles per dm cube over here there is time so i'll write it as time so moles per dm cube and moles per dm cube get cancelled so it becomes time raised to minus 1 so its unit can be either second inverse or minute inverse or as inverse so these can be the unit of rate constant for first order reaction now second kinetic characteristic is half life half life of first order reaction so for that i'll write again rate equation k equals to 2.303 upon t log of a upon a minus x as we know that half life is half of the reactant gets converted to product so formation of product will be equal to half of reactant so we can write x as a by 2 and in this case t is replaced by t half if half of the product is formed then remaining will also be half so we know that a minus x is concentration of reactant after time t so remaining part is also half because half gets converted to product so we can use either of this value either we can use a minus x is equal to a by 2 or we can use x equals to a by 2 so we have to use either of this value it becomes log of a and a minus x so concentration of reactant after time t it is also half that is half of initial concentration 2.303 over here t is replaced by t half this is equal to k a a get cancelled 2 goes in numerator t half will come over here and this is 2.303 upon k will come over here now we know that 2.303 into log 2 value is 0.3010 or you can find this value with the help of calculator 
upon k so multiplication of this two is equal to 0 0.693 upon k so from this equation we say that half life for first order reaction is not depending upon the initial concentration because we don't find the initial concentration in this equation initial concentration is a so there is no a so we say that half life of first order reaction is independent of initial concentration of reactant third is graphical representation for first order reaction now it includes two parts so we'll go for first one again i'll write equation for rate constant k equals to 2.303 upon t log of a upon a minus x i'll rearrange this kt t is divided gets multiplied 2.303 is multiplied it gets divided so 2 upon 303 upon t comes this side it becomes t upon 2.303 log of a upon a minus x again on rearranging that is log of a upon a minus x equals to kt upon 2.303 now we see that we can see that this equation is in the form of y is equal to m x that is this will come on y axis and t will come on x axis that is if we plot a graph of log of a upon a minus x versus t it will be the straight line because y equals to presents the equation of line which passes through origin so over here i'll draw that is if we plot the graph of log of a upon a minus x versus t then it will be the straight line passing through origin and slope of that line will be m m is equal to so slope of this line will be k upon 2.303 in this way in second case again i'll write same thing kt upon 2.303 equals to log of a upon a minus x in log division means subtraction log of a upon sorry log of a minus log of a minus x in log division means subtraction so I'll bring this log of a minus x on left hand side log of a minus x and I'll bring this kt on this side so it becomes minus kt upon 2.303 and log of a is as it is now if you observe this equation is in the form of y is equal to mx plus c so this is the line which does not pass this through origin as we have seen earlier that is if we plot a graph of graph of what on y axis log of a minus will come a log of a minus x versus t so if we plot a graph of log of a minus x versus t over here slope is minus slope is minus so line will be in this way if slope is plus then in this way so what is slope of this line slope m is equal to minus k upon 2.303 minus k upon 2.303 and what is c that is intercept on y axis over here intercept on y axis is log of a so we have to remember that log of a minus x versus t is a straight line with negative slope and log of a upon a minus x versus t is a straight line passing through origin so these are the two graphical representation that we'll study for first order reaction now let's start with numerical part a substance decomposes as according to the first order rate law with half time of 1 hour so in this question t half is given as 1 hour the next is what fraction of the given sample of the substance will remain after 2 hours so over here we have to calculate value for amount of substance remaining that is amount of reactant remaining after 2 hours so over here we have to calculate value for a minus x when t equals to 2 hours 
Now, in this case, in solution, P half is given. P half is given as 1R N. What we have to calculate? Fraction of substance remains, that is A minus X, is the amount of reactant remaining after time T. So we have to calculate value for A minus X after 2 hours when t equals to 2 hours so using this t half first we'll try to calculate value for rate constant for first order reaction so t half equals to 0 0.693 upon k this is for first order so this is half life for first order reaction so value for k is 0 0.693 upon t half and what is value for t half it is equal to 1R so its unit is equal to 0 0.693 as inverse this is first part second we have to calculate value for A minus X so first I'll write equation for rate constant K equals to 2.303 upon T log of A upon A minus X right so we have to calculate value for this so first i will take kt on this side t and 2.303 gets divided is equal to log of a upon a minus x if log comes this side it becomes nt log nt log of kt upon 2.303 a upon a minus x right now i'll try to substitute this value anti log of what is value for k 0 0.693 we have to calculate value for a minus x after 2 hours so time is equal to 2 hours upon 2.303 a upon a minus x in this way fine so in exam we can make use of calculators so over here we need scientific calculator so now we'll make use of this calculator which is available on play store that is scientific calculator so we'll try to calculate value for this so first we'll multiply this and then we'll directly find value for anti log of this. that is 0 0.693 into 2 equals to divide by 2.303 so answer is 0 0.60 now we have to find anti log over here log is given how to find anti log we'll press this shift button and then log we need to find log of anti log of last answer so answer and then put equal to so over here anti log is 3.997 so it is approximately equal to 4 a upon a minus x so if i bring a minus x on this side it becomes 1 upon 4 into a so 1 upon 4 to 1 divided by 4 1 divided by 4 which is equal to 0 0.25 a so how much amount is remaining that is fraction of reactant remaining after 2 hours it is equal to 0 0.25 of a so a first order reaction is 25 percent complete in 30 minutes so over here if it is in terms of percentage so we'll consider that initial concentration of reactant as 100 and over here it is given that 25 percent of reaction is complete means formation of product is 25 so what is concentration of reactant after time t so it is a minus x so 100 minus 25 will be 75 that is concentration of reactant that is value for a minus x when t equals to 30 minute so we have to calculate value for rate constant that is k half time and time required for 75 percent of reaction to be completed means formation of product is 75 so how much amount is unreacted that is a minus x 100 minus 75 will be equal to 25 so in this case we can say that value for a minus x is 25 now for solution for second sum what is given 25 percent of reaction is completed so if percentage is given so i'll say that initial concentration is 100 25 percent is complete means formation of product is 
25. Then what is remaining? A minus X. That is concentration of reactant after time T. So it is equal to 100 minus 25. So we say that A minus X is equal to 75 in this. Now what is given? Time equals to 30 minutes. So this 25% of reaction is completed. 30 minutes. So I will write equation for rate constant. K equals to 2.303 upon T log of A upon A minus X. So this is first part. So we have to calculate value for specific reaction rate. So over here 2.303 time is given as 30 minute log of what is value for A? A is equal to 100 and A minus X it is equal to 75. Over here we are considering that concentration of reactant as A so we will say that let A equals to 100 and formation of X is 25 that is formation of product is 25. So over here directly we can make use of this calculator in this way. Fine. So first we will calculate this. How to calculate this? First I will divide 100 divide by 75. Fine. We need to find log of this. So log of answer. This then multiplied by 2.303 2.303 and then divided by 30 divided by 30 in this way so answer is 0 0.0096 time is in terms of minute so its unit is minute inverse fine then second what we have to calculate we have to also calculate value for half life now how to calculate half life by using simple equation for first order reaction T half equals to 0 0.693 upon K 0 0.693 upon what is value for K K is equal to this 0 0.0096 so let's calculate this 0.693 divide by 0 0.0096 so it is equal to 72.17 so I'll add one number in this so it becomes 9 time is in terms of minute fine okay. then next part what is third part we have to calculate concentration that is time required for the completion of reactant Time required for completion of 75% of reactant means product formed is equal to 75. So as we consider that initial concentration is 100, formation of product is 75 because 75% of reaction is complete. So what is value for A minus X? 100 minus 75. 100 minus 75 that is equal to 25. So let's start with that. K equals to what we have to calculate in this time required for completion of 75% of reaction. So K equals to 2.303 upon T log of A upon A minus X. Now, so what is value for T? 2.303 upon K log of A upon A minus X log of what is value for A? 100. A minus X is 25. So this we can directly calculate 25 fours 100 and so on. 2.303 and value for K. What is value for K? 0 0.0096. So this is 25 fours 100. We have to calculate value for log of 4. So what is this value? Log of 4 into into 2.303 divided by divided by 0 0.0096 so it is equal to 144.43 time time is in terms of minute a substance reacts according to the first order rate law and the specific reaction rate for the reaction is 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 second inverse so over here value for rate constant is given that is 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 second inverse if the initial concentration of 1 mole per dm cube 
then what is the initial rate and what is the reaction rate after one minute Yeah, and solution value for rate constant is given k equals to k equals to 1.0 into 10 raised to minus 2 second inverse 1.0 into 10 raised to minus 2 second inverse initial concentration is given initial concentration is a and initial concentration is given as 1 moles per dm cube in this case now we have to calculate initial rate initial rate fine and also we have to calculate rate after one minute and what we have to calculate rate but it is after one minute that is one minute is equal to because it is in terms of second so we will say after 60 seconds for this in our previous lecture we have written this formula that is unit of k equals to equals to unit of rate of reaction upon unit of concentration of reactor So we'll remove this unit. We'll say rate of reaction equals to rate constant into concentration of reactant. So what is rate? Rate of reaction is equal to rate constant that is K into concentration of reactant. Fine. We have to calculate initial rate. Initial Rate. What is value for rate constant? It is 1.0 into 10 raised to minus 2. And what is concentration of reactant initially? It is 1 moles per dm cube. So it is in terms of moles per dm cube. So it is 1.0 into 10 raised to minus 2. So what will be its unit? Moles per dm cube. And the value for rate constant it is in terms of second inverse so this will be the unit for initial rate now we have to calculate the rate after one minute means how much amount is remaining so first we need to calculate value for a minus x so k equals to 2.303 upon t log of a upon a minus x right initial concentration is given initial concentration is equal to 1. So what is value for rate constant? It is equal to 1.0 into 10 raised to minus 2. 2.303 upon 60 because we have to calculate after 1 minute. 1 minute equals to 60 second. Log of a is equal to 1 upon a minus x. So I will bring this on this side. So it is 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 into 60 divided by 2.303 is equal to log of 1 upon a minus x if log comes this side it becomes anti log anti log is 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 into 60 upon 2.303 it is equal to 1 upon a minus x now let's calculate this now in this 1 into so 1 will take this in the power of 10 raised to so this is exponential 10 raised to minus 2 so it is equal to 0 0.1 into 60 fine divide by divide by 2.303 now we need to find anti log of this so shift and then log then answer equals to so its anti log is 1.82 so we can add one digit in this it becomes 2 1 upon a minus x so what is value for 1 upon a minus x or we can write it in this way a minus x equals to 
1 upon 1.822 so what is value for this 1 divided by answer it gives us 0 0.5488 so this is value for a minus x that is concentration of reactant after one minute so what will be rate it is equal to k into concentration of a reactant so value for rate constant we know that it is equal to what 1 into 10 raised to minus 2 into what is concentration of reactant that is 0 0.5488 so it is equal to 0 0.5488 into 10 raised to minus 2 its unit will be same that is moles per dm cube that is concentration of reactant moles per dm cube and rate constant is in terms of second inverse so this is rate after one minute